Afternoon, Gary. Hi. Um, we'll start with the big breaking news in the Premier League. Patrick Vieira sacked by Crystal Palace. Um, would come as a surprise to some people. They're in 12th at the moment. Um, and other people would say no surprise at all. They haven't won in 2023. What was your reaction this morning when you saw that news break? Yeah, firstly, you're d disappointed for, for Patrick. And, you know, he's he's obviously put a lot of work into into that team. As you say, they're, they're 12th in the league. Um, obviously, it's, it's very tight. Um but yeah, I, I was surprised. Um, I was surprised, and yeah, ne never nice to see to see a, a fellow manager lose their job. So um, yeah, I'm I'm sure he bounced back, and um, yeah, that was it really. I guess you look at the Crystal Palace scenario, and you look at their position and the the points tally they have, and and they're one of the sides that you could potentially catch. They're a side that could still get relegated this season. Yeah, as you know, you know me quite well now, Mark. I don't put too much energy into focusing on who or how many or um, a lot of my energies, or well, all of my energies focused on us. But of course there are, yeah, there are nine teams at the moment that are involved in a in a very tight um, sort of scrap for survival. So um, I, I'm not sure if it will stay that way right till the end. There's some very good teams in there that, that may be capable of pulling themselves away quickly. Um, but yeah, at the, at the moment, Crystal, Crystal Palace are one of those nine. In your last two Premier League matches, you've seen the very best and, and worst of, of what this division has to offer. The, the heartbreak of losing at the Emirates and then the transformation of playing and winning against the Liverpool side that were in great form and beat Bournemouth 9 nil in, earlier in the season. What did you do to create a mentality that enabled that group to go and get that result against Liverpool? Um, yeah, I just support them. They're, yeah. That I've spoke about them a lot. They have, they have a real, yeah. One of their biggest qualities is they they are relentless and they they will go again no matter what. Um, so yeah, the 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 fact that we suffered nine nil at Anfield would have been a tough afternoon for them. Uh, afternoon for them, of course. Um, they then managed to bounce back and go six undefeated off the back of that. And then um, a lot of questions last week around sort of a a knockout blow at the Emirates. Um, and it, yeah, it turned out it wasn't a knockout blow. The lads got straight back up and uh, managed to win the following weekend. So, um, yeah, no, nothing too much from me, of course. I just yeah, speak to them, make sure they're in a good place. Um, yeah, but they, they, they don't take too much help with that. I always, I always feel like I'm, I know what I'm going to see from them um, effort and commitment-wise. From the outside, it looks like this is a very together group. There's a good buzz around the training ground. There's a, there's a feel-good factor around the club at the moment. And the lads did a bit of team bonding this this week. Could you just tell us a little bit about how it went and what it was like? Yeah, I think they had a their Monday afternoon. They were, yeah, a few of them thought it was a, a real good idea to do something together. We've had a, not, a lot of new players come in, so um, yeah, I was I was in full support of it. I thought it would be a nice idea. They had a, a little afternoon out at a, a, a local place, and a few team bonding exercises, and yeah, I saw. A lot of smiles and, and everyone had a nice afternoon. So um, yeah, that's, I mean it happens quite regularly at football clubs. Um, just thought it was nice timing. Obviously, a few of the boys settle into a new new country and new team and things like that can can help them. And the key part of it was just the lads. Actually, there was no coaching staff, there was no peripheral staff. It was just the team that were played pigeon shooting. I believe. Yeah, I was disappointed I didn't get an invite. But um, yeah, no, too old now. So the lads go off. The lads go off without me. And a barbecue at the end, which you were invited to a South American themed barbecue. Yeah, yeah. So obviously Nets has, yeah, Net Neto has played a big part in it for us. Um, so yeah, the, um, the lads had a the lads had a good day. Um, yeah, and then they were back in and ready to work. We had a good session Tuesday morning as well. So it's it's been a good week. Lads are lads are in a good place, as as I say most weeks. And um, yeah, proof of that will be tomorrow from from three till five pm. Do you know who won the play yeah, I believe Ilya. Ilya, yeah. So apparently he was very, very good. So um, yeah, he's he's getting closer as well. He's he's had a real good week. So um, looking forward to getting him back involved. And the fact that Neto pulls the group together, the fact that they're all willing to to buy into that kind of a spirit as the head coach, you must be immensely proud of the group that's developing, a young group. Yeah, very proud. Very proud of everything they've done so far this season. Um, in yeah, the, the Premier League, which can be tough and is is ruthless. Um, We've been short at times, numbers-wise. Um, we're, we're not so short anymore, but we've had a lot of new players come in in January, which isn't easy. Um, not easy at all. You see 
some other sides when they do a lot of business in transfer windows it takes a long time to, to start to see um, any impact from that um, boys have managed to settle really well because of how, how strong the group is and how together it is um, still lots lots to do of course loads loads of work still to be done but um, yeah really pleased with where they are at the moment how do you set up a side to, to pick up another three points back to back three points in the Premier League against a very difficult Aston Villa team team you beat on the opening day of the season yeah, they're very different now to they were then. Um, form under Unai Emery has been very, very good. Um, I think since they took charges, they're, they're right up the top part of the league, points-wise. Um, very well organised, play some good football, some some good players. Um, threatening behind with Watkins and, and Bailey. So, um, yeah, they're, they're a good side. It'll be a, it'll be another very, very tough game for us, definitely. And then just finally for me, some team news. There's obviously a lot of players coming back this a little bit of strength in depth, uh, a few selection headaches as well. Yeah, um, yeah, some some good news. Ju Junior Traore is back. He's trained all week, so um, well, not all week, but that part of the week. Um, yeah, he's looking good. Um, who else have we got back? Uh, Tav, not quite yet, but very close. Um, very close. I expect him to be fit for the next one. Well, he w he will be fit for the next one. Uh, and Ilya, hopefully the same. Ilya, hopefully available next time. So. Um, yeah, it's, it's good news. We're not anywhere near as many injuries as we have had recently. Um, so, yeah, a, a stronger group. Thank you. All right. Jordan Zamora available or not in contention? Uh, yeah, all the, yeah, he's fit. All the, yeah, the, the squad, they're, they're all available. They're all to be considered. So, um, yeah, I'll have some decisions to make tomorrow. How impressed were you and happy with Lloyd Kelly's return? Yeah, I thought he was, yeah, I thought he was excellent. I think... Um, I, I felt he would cope. Um, I would have been more confident that he would cope if he'd been back longer. I thought going in against Salah and Liverpool, having been out such a long time um, off the back of an already lengthy injury before the one he just had, I thought it, it was a bit of an ask for him. Um, but to come out of it as he did, um, put in the performance that he did, um, having not been back with us long, I think shows the, the quality that he has and, and what he's capable of. So. Um, yeah, it was it was a very good, uh, very good performance. Um, yeah, I, I like him in that left back role as well. I think he can do it well. And I'm sure it wasn't a surprise to the group having David Brooks back in the squad. But you know, has that, you know, having him back, has it given everyone a lift? And, and how is he? Is he itching for his first few minutes after such a long wait? Yeah, of course. It, yeah, everybody's absolutely delighted for him, for for the group, for the for the club, for his family, everybody. So, um, and yeah, he's. He's itching, but he's sensibly itching. He knows that there's there's some things that he needs to do. Um, so yeah, Bro Brooks is in a good place. Um, we need to we need to make sure we keep him there. Um, he'll be involved again tomorrow. So um, yeah, let, let's see what we can do with him. And I know the situation, the relegation fight, is motivation enough for everyone. But with an international break just around the corner, do you give any extra incentives, good performance, and you have two extra days off or anything? Uh, no, no, I haven't. I've, um, yeah, you, you consider things like that, um, and I just similar to your question there. I always think there can be no bigger motivate like an extra day off can't be a bigger motivation than than putting three points on the board and trying to stay in the Premier League. So um, yeah, I thought the days off reward would be fairly insignificant in comparison. So uh, yeah, business as usual. We we go to Villa Park, we try and win a game of football, um, and then we we stick to the plan next week. And you mentioned him in passing just now, but how impressed particularly have you been with Ollie Watkins? Yeah, very good. Yeah, has, has done really, really well. Of course, he's a um, fairly big move from him. I've been, been at, at Brentford for a while and played in, in lower divisions. And um, yeah, he's made the step up very, very well. He's he's a threat, um, scored a fantastic goal, yeah, running away from um, Arsenal, for their back line. Um, so yeah, to, to do that to... To centre backs, the quality of Arsenal shows what he can do. So he'll be a threat, definitely, um, and sort of fits the way they play. They, yeah, they, they they try and play through you if they can, but they know that if you if you overcommit, they can use Watkins and, and Bailey's pace in behind. So yeah, they're a tough team to stop, and not 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 surprised that they've been in really good form.